Good day, my name is Alice and welcome to the Brief Bulletin. A 53-year-old woman, Si Chinjisugumbo, was discharged from United Bulawayo Hospitals over the weekend due to a lack of funds needed to continue with her cervical cancer operation. Gumbo, who resides in Tabazinduna and is staying with her sister, is now appealing for financial assistance to cover the required costs. According to Gumbo's daughter, Beatrice Komu, the family had already paid $25 US for blood tests required by the hospital upon her mother's admission. However, Gumbo was then transferred to another unit at the hospital for an echo test which required an additional $800 US. The African National Congress and its largest rival, the white-led, pro-business Democratic Alliance, agreed on Friday to work together in South Africa's new Government of National Unity, a step change after 30 years of ANC majority rule. The deal between the two parties is a momentous political shift in South Africa since Nelson Mandela led the ANC to victory in 1994. In a statement of intent, the new government said it will focus on issues of economic growth, improving access to and the quality of basic services, providing affordable, quality health care, creating a corruption-free public service, and strengthening law enforcement to address issues like crime and gender-based violence. The United Nations Security Council has demanded a halt to the siege of El Fasha, a city of 1.8 million people in Sudan's North Darfur region, by the paramilitary rapid support forces and an immediate end to fighting in the area. The 15-member council adopted a British-drafted resolution that also calls for the withdrawal of all fighters who threaten the safety and security of civilians in Al Fasha, the last big city in the vast, western Darfur region not under RSF control. Al Fasha's main hospital has been attacked by the RSF and put out of service, Doctors Without Borders said on Sunday. And now over to Vusi for the weather report. Good day, my name is Vusi, and this is the weather forecast for Saturday, June 15, 2024. Clear skies are forecast in Matopos and Bulawayo with the two areas recording a high temperature of 21 degrees Celsius between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. and a low temperature of 7 and 8 degrees Celsius between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. Plumtree and Muteray are forecast to record a high temperature of 22 degrees Celsius between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. and low temperatures of 8 and 12 degrees Celsius respectively, between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. Gwanda and West Nicholson are forecast to record low temperatures of 6 degrees Celsius between 4 a.m. and 5 a.m. and high temperatures of 23 degrees Celsius between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. The city of Harare is expected to record a low temperature of 9 degrees Celsius between 5 o'clock and 6 a.m. and a high temperature of 23 degrees Celsius between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Sunny conditions are forecast in Victoria Falls with the area recording a low temperature of 6 degrees Celsius between 6 o'clock and 7 o'clock and a high temperature of 24 degrees Celsius between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Sunny conditions are expected in Lupani and Kariba with the two areas recording low temperatures of 9 and 14 degrees Celsius respectively, between 5 o'clock and 6 a.m. and a high temperatures of 26 degrees Celsius between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. Beatbridge is forecast to record a low temperature of 10 degrees Celsius between 5 o'clock and 6 a.m. and a high temperature of 27 degrees Celsius between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Ensure to keep warm, stay safe, and have a lovely weekend. That concludes the brief bulletin. My name is Alice. Have a good day.